Bath, uh, who was running for Congress. Of course, she was down last night when we went off the air by about 10,000 votes. By this morning, she was up 3,000 against Rep uh, Republican yeah, Karen, Karen Handel. Handel. That is shocking to yeah, a lot Georgia. of folks in Georgia. Yeah. Yes, in Georgia. That's it? Of course, Lucy McBath, well, Lucy McBath, of course, is the mother of Jordan Davis, a young man who was shot and killed mm, in Jacksonville, okay. Florida, okay. Uh, by the man who said that the music was too loud oh. in their car. He went oh. to prison. She became an activist uh, on gun rights, but then she said, you know what? I need to have more of an impact uh, by, by running for politics. Karen Handel, of course, was the right. one who beat Ossoff uh, in the runoff last year. Many people said that Handel, that was a conservative district, that's the one that Newt Gingrich used to be a member of Congress. The they said she was actually going to win. Uh, but but, but, uh, but uh, uh, Lucy McBath appealed to women when it came to the issue of guns. Mm -hmm. uh, she, ran, uh, a, uh, she ran a tough campaign, uh, and they, they had some mistakes uh, here and there, but she kept at it. And again, she went up about, about 300 votes uh, around 3 a.m., and then that lead has extended uh, in the morning to about 3,000. Uh, and so they're still counting there, but very much McBath could very well be the next member of Congress uh, from that district. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's looking at the district and looking at you know the race that Karen Handel won um, in the runoff of Ossoff. If you look at the at the original election, the first election, Ossoff almost smoked her. He came close to knocking her off in the first right. election. So I don't think it's necessarily shocking that. Oh, tight one second, folks. <laughs>